Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> so I'm back with another review. Um, so I've decided I ramble way too much. I just, I really can't help it. It's just a part of my personality. I talk a lot. I'm that kind of girl, whatever. Um, so I felt like to help me kind of bring it all together and not ramble so much in my reviews, I'm going to do review cards. Um, look at my horrible handwriting. Anyway, this is just an example. So with a review card, I'm going to... Every time I finish a book, I'm going to fill out one of these forms. It has the title, the author, the date I completed it, my thoughts. It has how long it took me to read it, what the genre is, would I recommend it, and a small synopsis of the book that I can give to you guys. I hope, I hope, I hope this helps me not ramble so much in the future and that there is actually going to be good content on the videos that I post and that the editing doesn't have to be so choppy because I talk so much. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling. Um, so with this book, and it was actually one of the books that I did get from the library last week, and it is actually the book that helped me get over my reader's funk or my reader's block because I have been having a horrible time reading books. I just, for some reason, anytime I pick something up, it just, um, I just really, I, I can't think to finish it like it nothing look or sounds good and this is the first book that I've read since I started feeling that way Iris Johansson's No Easy Target I did realize that Iris which was my daughter's name it's it's great I I never realized that until just like five days ago <laughs> I love her so much anyway um so I know that I've done a few reviews on her books before and Looking at my review card, I may have to say that it was great. It was a really good book. It has a really good plot. Um, she can communicate with animals. Now, the synopsis that I wrote is a woman who is able to communicate and bond with animals is roped into helping an ex-military soldier free his friend from the clutches of an evil man who used to be her captor, which is a perfect synopsis because that's exactly what it's about. And... It's actually amazing. <laughs> I'm biased, I know, I say this all the time, but it was actually a good book. I enjoyed it very much. The main character, Margaret, she's really interesting. Um, she's just, I don't know, I really, I really don't know how to explain it. She's, she's strong, she's hard, she takes care of herself, she needs no man, <laughs> no woman. She needs nothing, and I just, it really bonded well with me. Um, maybe it's because of all the nonsense that I've been going through this last week, but just seeing the strength of this character and making me feel like I got this too, you know, I can hold it together too. It was just that much more, that much better for me. Um, it, it's not really like a bad thing, but it was weird, you know? The dialogue between the characters is kind of interesting. Um, it's, it's like if I was trying to explain something to you, but instead of explaining the actual thing to you, I was explaining that I'm explaining something to you. Both go to the like it just seems so like like just things that, like stating the obvious, you know. And I know a lot of books are like that. I know the dialogue is not it doesn't flow very well. And it still can be a good book, which I think is the case here. I just really, to be my book to jump out of the funk, I was really expecting, you know, some on-fire dialogue. And that's not really what I got. But at the same time, if you're looking for an easy read, because it only took me a day and a half to read this, No Easy Target by Iris Johansson was amazing. So, all right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Hopefully do another book review today that I actually read. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.